Good evening, everybody. As you can see in front of me, there's a, a nice hoard of tabacchiana, all nicely laid out. Um, I'll just give you a quick little go around, and then we'll get into it. Now, um, you may have uh, noticed I've certainly made it, uh, made it known on my channel. I recently started a uh, IG page called UK Pipe Sales. And um, I might uh, leave the stuff on there, I might not. I haven't decided, but it's not really working out so far. Um, I know it's early days, but... Um, um, and the last time um, I did a, a sale on YouTube, it, it certainly was more, uh, it, it achieved a better response. So um, what I've decided to do is to do a flash sale. Um, so it's only going to be up for a day or two, um, maybe a little bit longer, but it's basically going to be a, a quick sale. Prices are going to be reflected in that. I know sometimes my prices have been fairly sharp, but um, most times those will have been for high-end pipes and they would have still been a fair amount cheaper than buying them or sitting around waiting for them to be ordered and made for you um, but this time I've, I've made a significant reduction in the price um, to reflect the fact that it's a flash sale so um, if you're in the market to buy some tabacchiana it's really a good opportunity this is a genuine opportunity in my opinion there's some really really nice pipes here some of them you'll have seen before maybe one or two not I've also included a little bit of uh, um, tobacco as well, which I've not done in the past. So we'll see what uh, kind of interest that generates. For those who are interested, A. Chapman, connoisseur number one. And tasty it is too. Right, let's start off. We're going to get straight into it. As before, the description, will, uh, the list will be below with all the prices. Um, shipping in the UK is £7.50 as before, and worldwide will be £12.50. Um, if you just end up just buying just a tin of tobacco or just a small item like that, then I'll work out a price. Um, but um, basically that's what the prices are going to be. So we start off with the Moretti Brown. So this one is actually quite a recent purchase. It's brand new, it's unsmoked comes with a nice sort of hefty Moretti bag, very good quality bag. Um, we have a very nice high contrast sort of a flame grain going on. Focusing is not great at the minute. there's too much in the background and it's distracting it anyway so that's um, really nice grain on it 360 degrees nice flame grain on both sides very very nice pipe as I said this one is brand new and I'm selling it at cost it's a hundred pounds this is literally at cost price I'm not making anything on it Beautiful, lightweight Moretti. Lovely contrast between the dark and the white with the stem and the uh, bowl. A very, very nice pipe. So that's a hundred pounds. Next one. Sorry, just one second, please. The next one is the other Moretti. This is the Cutty, which uh, would have been seen before. A beautiful, lightweight pipe. Um, this one has been smoked, but it's in tip-top condition. I'll obviously polish it and clean it before I send it out. Um, so there might be some chatter on there, and um, but you know nothing, no dings, no tooth marks going through the stem or anything like that. Um, in very nice condition. 
and that one is just £65, really priced to sell. £65 for the Cutty, Moretti Cutty. Next up is the Martin Dransfield, I call it a golden egg, because that's what it looks like to me. It's a lovely golden colour. Got a few little natural flecks on it, but it's a beautiful, lovely shape, lovely stem on that. I love the way that pops. Nice fluorescent stem, very generous bowl. It's a beautiful pipe. I've just never got to smoke it, it's brand new, natural. And I'm selling this also at cost price, which is 50 pounds, the absolute steal. 50 pounds for and a suitably fluorescent top goes with it. 50 pounds for the Martin Dransfield. Next up is the Fabrizio Natalizia. This one is not brand new, but it's hardly been used. You can see it's in tip top condition. There's no burn marks or anything like that. Got a lovely um, contrast grain on it. This was a custom made pipe, by the way. Um, I assume that's nickel, but a nice bright silver coloured band and a Cumberland stem. As I said, this is custom made, Fabrizio Natalizia. Um, this is way below what it cost me as a custom pipe, um, and that's going for £100. Again, if you're looking for one of his pipes, um, they don't usually come with Cumberland and they don't usually come with nickel unless you order it. So it's an absolute steal at £100. Next, next is the Bride Bird. I have shown this one before, but I'm pricing it to sell now. It's £67. Um, a beautiful Albatross pipe, one of the Albatross range, nice sandblast. And uh, the Albatross range is one which has this uh, kind of uh, craggy edge on the shank. And there you can see uh, the BB, which is Bride Bird, and the little feather there underneath it, which is the Albatross insignia. In very nice condition there is evidence of use on it i will clean it up though um, but it's in really nice condition and a nice tortoise shell uh, stem there um 67 pounds it's you know it's a used pipe but it's cheap bargain it's a lovely pot sort of sort of shape it's although it's a classic billiard but it's quite a it's got quite a, almost like an author shape if it, if it would have a slimmer stem there. It's, it's quite a wide pot, um, wide bowl I should say. So it's an interesting shape. Next one is another brand new pipe. This is the Talamona, made in Italy, handmade. Um, it comes with its original sock and it comes with the original box. A really, really nice pipe. Lovely grain all around. Interesting shape. Got a nice acrylic insert there, a double insert. Uh, let's see what it says. That's the guy who made it, Kochi Paolo, Paolo Kochi, Kochi. Um, I think that's one of the main carvers there. And that's Talamona, Talamona Academia. Made in Italy. Really gorgeous pipe. Very interesting shape. It sits in the hand fantastically well. As I say, it's brand new, unsmoked. And this one is £90. This is way, way, way below cost. Um, you can look on eBay, look on anywhere. These are going for anywhere between £120 and £150. Um, so £90, price to sell. Next one is the uh, Mustran. That's this uh, Daniel Mustran pipe. This was, um, uh, I've had it a while, but it's unsmoked, it's brand new. And this is a real high-end um, pipe from a carver who's really at the peak of his trade. Um, really creative, artistic, 
a lovely Cumberland green Cumberland stem there. Look at that grain, just unbelievable. Look at that, look at the structure on that. This has got everything going for it, this pipe. I'm starting to sound like a salesman now. Um, a beautiful shape, absolutely sharp edges, really fantastic. And you've got a, I don't know if that's boxwood or something like that insert, that's triple, a triple wood insert. It's just an absolute stunner of a pipe, lightweight, easy clencher. But this is a, a real, it's a piece, it's a talking piece, it's it's a, just a showstopper really, fantastic pipe. I think I've sold it enough. Um, and this is just £200. That's way below cost as well. Again, price to sell. It's £200 for that. Unbelievable bargain. Uh, next one is the C pipes. A recent, a recent purchase. It's been smoked a handful of times, maybe four or five times. A little bit of signs of use, but really light. Nothing major. Beautiful bamboo. Nice grain. Beautiful pipe. Lovely, lovely pipe. In very, very clean condition. Pretty much in mint condition, besides for a little bit of chatter there but I'll, I'll polish it out as best as I can as I always do lovely bamboo um, this one is 115 pounds again all of these pipes I don't want to keep saying it because I'm going to sound like a salesman but they're all priced to sell they're really really cheap this was considerably more um, to buy I paid considerably more for this not I don't know maybe two or three months ago something like that so that's the sea pipes bamboo. Next one is this Dunhill Bam uh, uh, Zulu. Yeah, talking too much, my cigar's gone out. Okay, so this is the Dunhill Zulu. Comes with a box. Also comes with the outer sleeve. The outer sleeve with the description there. This is in brand new condition. It's not brand new, it's probably had a bowl through it, maybe one bowl, but it's literally in brand new condition. There's hardly any sign of use of it. There's no chatter on here whatsoever. Um, crisp, clean, it's from 2015. Um, but uh, the place that I bought it from told me that it's literally not seen any use. It may have had a bowl through it. Maybe one bowl, literally. I haven't smoked it yet. Sand blast. Good way to tell um, is on the top um, on a sand blast, especially on a shell briar, is to see how crisp the sand blast is on the top. And this one is absolutely crisp. It's none of it's been smoothed out or um, caked or anything like that. It's it's really a crisp pipe. And again, selling to sell, one hundred and ninety pounds. 190 pounds. This is below the reduced price that I had it on at um, on, on UK pipe sales. I originally had it on for a price, then I reduced it, and this is even lower than that. So, an absolute steal. Right. Okay. Next one up is a really really nice pipe. This is a Peterson with a silver cap. Um, I've started to do a little bit of research. Um, I think it's around from the 1980s, maybe 1990s, even possibly 2000 mark. I don't know exactly what it is. You can do your own research. The letter is a letter G, um, and, and they have it online. You can check it. I don't remember which year it was, but suffice it to say, it's not uh, a new. It's like an, this is new, but it's old stock. It's it's in new condition. Well, it is brand new. It hasn't been smoked. So. Um, Beautiful condition, the silver is spotless, no dings or dents or anything like that. Another silver band there. Beautiful grain on it. Bird's eye on both sides with a straight grain in the middle, straight grain down the stummel. And you've got the whole marking there. Um, this pipe is £125. It's an absolute steal. Seriously, <laughs> I keep saying it, but that is an absolute bargain. Brand new, unsmoked. Next up is a very special pipe. This is um, an Elwood. I actually bought this as an investment, but um, I've decided to sell it. Um, I w this was going to be a long-term investment, but these are very special. They're hard to get. This is an Elwood pipe uh, made by Leswood. Um, 
he was the silversmith for Dunhill Pipes many years ago. And his pipes are very sought after. He went into doing pipes himself. This is quite rare, in my opinion, for a number of reasons. Number one, the size of it. It's, it's a really quite a chunky size. And number two, yep, it takes a filter, which is pretty unusual from what I've seen anyway. Um, there you've got the uh, Elwood sign on the bottom there. And you've got his uh, marking LJNS, which is Les and some his wife's name. I don't remember what it was, but that's there. And 925, which is sterling silver. Um, the only thing I've noticed of, of note, which I want to, just for transparency, I'm going to show it to you. Um, but I imagine this was like that from day one. But this is all handmade silver, so it's quite acceptable. There's a little, on the corner there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bit of a... Uh, there, can you see it there on the corner? But that's, I'm pretty sure it's like that from day one. Um, this is in no way detracts from the quality of this pipe. This pipe has been smoked, but uh, you can see that it's been very, very lightly smoked. Um, the rim is, you know, in fantastic condition. You know, there's no damage to it at all. Very, very nice condition. Again, I'll clean it up before it goes out. Absolutely no chatter at all on the on the bit. It's in pristine condition. Besides for the fact that they would have had some tobacco in there, it's in pristine condition. Um, as I say, these are quite sought after, um, and they are collector's items. Um, and this one, I will let it go at two ten. It's worth more than that. Trust me, it's worth more than that. But uh, two hundred and ten pounds. Uh, we're nearly there. Um, where are we up to? We've got this Dunhill, this billiard, classic billiard. We've seen this one before as well, uh, but I'm pricing it to sell. Um, I had it priced at, uh, originally it was priced at £130, I think, on my last sale. Um, a beautiful, it's sterling silver. It's got a bit of a patina right now. I haven't polished it out. Um, it just gives it more of a genuine uh, feel to it. A bit of a rustic look, but it can be polished. It's, it is sterling silver. I don't know the year. This was bought from the Danish pipe shop a while ago. Um, and they had it repaired, um, and that's why the band, it slightly covers the nomenclature, so I don't know what the date is. Um, but it's a, a beautiful pipe. It's really in the traditions of the early Dunhill pipes. Um, I would estimate this to be around the 20s or 30s. Lovely, really craggy rustication on it. Um, and I'm pricing this at a ridiculous £95. That really is just an absolute bargain to steal. Well done, Dunhill, bit of history. All right, um, excuse me, I'm just going to light my cigar. I really, you know, I've been trying very hard to record this in one go, so forgive me for if there's a few pauses here and there, because I didn't want to have to edit it. So I hope you don't mind a little bit of a pause. Right, next one is the uh, Paul's Pipes, Paul Menard. Um, this is the Volcano. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of Paul Menard, but his pipes are just superlative. There's really, you can't really describe them enough to uh, describe the quality of his pipes. I've got uh, quite a few, fair few of his pipes. I'm not deserting him as a carver. I've got his pipes, I smoke his pipes, and uh, I'm not going anywhere, Paul, if you do watch this. Um, but this one just, you know, it doesn't get smoked as much. And uh, in fact, I haven't smoked it in a long time. Um, I think the last time I smoked it was in Switzerland. Um, it's in very, very nice condition as well. It's pretty much in brand new condition. Um, very, very little sign of use of it. It's got fantastic uh, grain on the stumble there. And look at that beautiful, I call it my, uh, what did I call it, my tiger, something like that. I don't remember what I called it, my tiger volcano, something like that. Just look at the grain. It's a beautiful pipe. I'll be sorry to see it go. Cumberland stem. Stem made as only Paul can. Beautiful stem. Okay, so the 
Pulmonade is £170. Again, way below what I paid for it, way below. And you get his handmade leather pipes, beautiful soft leather, supple leather, and his uh, badge or button. It's absolute bargain again, £170. Uh, what's next? I think I missed out the radiator pipe. It was earlier up my list. This one is a Huibi radiator pipe, brand new and smoked. Um, and you can look them up online so you can see that what, that my price is going to be a good price. Uh, I'm selling this for seventy-five pounds. <laughs> they, they sell for um, by the time you've got if you add up the stem and the the bowl. I think you're looking at, even in dollars, you're looking at around $120, something like that, $130. I can't remember. Look it up yourself. I don't want to mislead you, so look up the price yourself. Um, but I'm selling this for £75. Price to sell. Finally, in terms of pipes, um, this is a Jake Hackett short smoke. Um, a really cute little pipe good for a, night, a short break you know maybe lunchtime break or something like that at work light as a feather it's got his uh, rustication it's got the silver dots fantastic pipe it's made exactly the same as his big pipes just in a smaller size it's all handmade um, this is a 2017 Hackert um, and I'm selling it at cost which is 55 pounds it's it's um, I think his is it, when he sells them online I think they're about 58 58 dollars or something like that but by the time I've got it here with the postage and whatever, it's it's in fact it's less because I think I paid a little bit of tax on it as well. Not that I have to pass that on to you, but nevertheless, um, um, it, it's it's uh, what did I say before? Did I say fifty-five? Yeah, fifty-five pounds for the hacker comes with a sock. Fifty-five pounds. Okay, now we've got a few bits and bobs which I haven't put online before on my YouTube channel. So first off, we have this was on UK pipe sales. This is a Dunhill pipe pouch. It's a vintage one. Um, the person I bought it from tells tells me that it hasn't been used. I'm not gonna. I can't verify that because I did challenge him on that, but he insisted that it was new. He said it was new old stock. So it's a threefold. You have got the white dot. Dunhill made in England, so this is the original Dunhill. It's soft as anything, it's soft as butter. This so the pouch goes up that way and down that way. Um, you can buy brand new ones, but they won't be this quality. You won't have it. I'm not even sure if they're made in England anymore, and you will not get a leather like that. And the leather on this is just fantastic. Um, you can, you can. But I, I don't even know if they're genuine. The ones that you see on places like eBay or Amazon, that kind of thing, I have no idea if they're genuine. You won't know the provenance of them. Um, you will not get one with an original Dunhill box like that, which you know is vintage. Um, I'm selling this at thirty-five pounds. That's it, thirty-five quid. First one to get it, you got it. First one to pay gets it. Thirty-five pounds for the Dunhill. Next up is the standard mixture from Dunhill. Now this is a tin of tobacco, which um, I did a little bit of research. This is a, a vintage tin. Um, I bought this a while back. Um, I did a little bit of research, and for the best, to the best of my knowledge, this is around the 1980s, something like that, 1983, 1985, something like that. So. There's a good solid 20 years on this, if not more. It's sealed. It's uh, The tin is in pretty good condition. I can't see anything which would indicate that there'd be any problem with the tobacco at all. Um, it's manufactured and blended in the United Kingdom. That hasn't happened for a long time. It's been out in Denmark or wherever. Um, I'm not sure who's been, who does Dunhill at the moment. It's, um, is it McBaron? I'm not sure. Uh, or the British American, no, American Tobacco Company. I'm not sure. Either way, this is original Dunhill. Alfred uh, Dunhill Limited, Duke Streets and James's. So, um, I'm selling this for £65. So, if you want a bit of history there, 
or you just you remember this and you've been desperate to try and find some of the original stuff there you've got the uh, Queen's um, uh, endorsement there by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen supplies of smokers requisites Alfred Dunn in limited London I don't think you'll find the royal family endorsing uh, any tobacco products these days okay so that's 65 pounds next up is a bag of Hastings um, this is an 8 ounce bag and this is from uh, 17, 2017 um, and this one is 85 pounds 8 ounce bag everybody knows the difficulty use of Guthy Soterica I admittedly I paid less for it but not that much less so being an 8, eight ounce bag I make a little bit of a profit on it but uh, for an Esoterica bag 8 ounce bag I think that's an amazing price if you're interested get in touch and finally 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 some Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding Special Reserve um, I'll be perfectly honest with you I have no idea whether this is still available in the USA or not um, when I bought it it was it came out as a special uh, production run um, of some uh, rare aged leaf which they had put aside and it, it says it on the box actually that they'd forgotten about um, and they made a, a special run I don't know if it's still available or not this is a four ounce tin so it's a W standard tin um, and that's 40 pounds I paid a little bit less than that um, but uh, 40 pounds for that that ladies and gentlemen is it that's where we've got up to with the cigar um, just to put your mind at ease, I'm not uh, dumping the hobby, I'm not getting out of pipe smoking. I still have uh, plenty of pipes to keep me going. But um, anybody who's followed me for long enough will know that that's how I do it. Um, I do like to shift my uh, rotation around. And I like to uh, rejuvenate my collection every so often. I do attract sometimes comments in the past where people say, don't sell them, don't sell them, you'll regret it afterwards, you'll want them back. And that could well be true, but this is how I do it, and I've been happy doing it this way. It gives me the ability to, you know, buy any other pipes and to, you know, that the money that comes in. I generally try not to add too much funds to my to the hobby. So what I've got, I'll sell, use the money, maybe add a little bit more to it, and buy some more stuff. I, it's just the way I like to do it. Last time I did a sale, I did have a comment from somebody saying well you've just lost the sub because you know no don't come here to see sales I hear that and that's kind of why I went for the UK pipe sales Instagram page but I thought to myself I'm not here to uh, um, I'm not sort of running my channel just to keep Joe blogs happy this is a channel which is just what I do and I know nobody forces you to watch it you want to watch it if you're interested in the stuff that I put out then watch it if you're not interested switch over look at somebody else's channel um you know it's i, I um i do find it odd sometimes that people well i suppose it, you know if you've got a tv channel or if you've got a politician they've got to pander to 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 their audience and to some extent i obviously want to make sure that my audience is happy as well but i think it's a little bit ridiculous where people sort of start to make demands on you if you don't like it don't watch it and if enough people start to walk I realize myself that people don't like it and I'll either stop doing it or I'll, I'll let the numbers go down but um, I have made a concerted effort to not put too many sale videos up so the last one that I had up I had it, I left it up for a few days and I took it down um, because for that reason so um, as I said these pipes are all priced to sell um, and I hope that they will and um, and once the uh, pipes have sold or the majority of them have sold and the interest slows down I'll take this uh, video down as well so if it case it annoys people last thing I want to do is annoy anybody um, I'll just sign off by offering my condolences and real sympathies to all the people affected in Las Vegas a really shocking event in uh, the history of mankind um, it really is one of those kind of events it's it's just absolutely well, you, you know, you can't really describe it. You can't really give it an apt uh, description. So I'm just going to offer my condolences.
my deepest uh, heartfelt good wishes and thoughts and prayers to all those affected. Catch you on the next one.